Okay, now let's imagine this scenario. Let's say you have a report or you have a paper that's written by multiple people. Each part of the paper can be written, can be drafted by different people. For example, you know, when I was writing this paper, we kind of allocate okay, each section to be read to be drafted by one person. So how is then the final or the, the person who consolidates it? able to get all the references. For example, I'm only writing two sections, 4.3 and 6.2. Okay, And yet, I'm going to give my colleague a list of 45 references that I've, cited, that I've used and cited in just these two sections alone. Can you imagine the horror that he or she will face? So is there a faster way of um, pulling out the references, the citations from this Zotoro formatted document? Because if I go to Zotoro, you realize that there's a Zotoro formatted document, okay? Rather than having my colleague to put one, to put one references, or basically each of these 46 references in, in 45 references into her Zotoro library, Itself, stuff like this. So it could be a, it, it's a painful process, right? And she has to do for me, she has to do for almost every single one. And the final paper may end up with 200 references, 250 references. So it is a horror just to put um, citations into Zotoro. So can we have a faster method? So this is what happens. Let me save this. <clears throat> okay. Now, we go to Zotoro itself, go to Google Zotoro. And what you can do is go to download. Click on download. This is the part, this uh, place where you download Zotoro in the first place. Okay. What we want to go is to the bottom part of it called plugins. So we browse the plugins. And luckily, this problem has been solved by another person. So we go all the way down to <clears throat> Word processor and writing integration, um, Word and LibreOffice. Okay, so thanks to can't pronounce her name, Renzi Zelle. Okay, it says that able to extract Zotoro or Mendeley references from Word document for import into Zotoro. This is very important. That is exactly what I want. My references are actually formatted from. Uh, it's Zotoro embedded. I'm not sure about Madeley, but at least Zotoro. Can I pull it out for my collective import? So I go to the reference extractor. This is actually um, a tool that is um, basically in, you know, in open source tool. So you can go to GitHub and go and read how is it being done. But doesn't matter. What we want to find go is the browser file. And this is about pathogenesis. Click on it. Voila, it found 45 references. Remember, we already have it. So the output format, for simplicity's sake, we use RISC. And we download it. So when you download RISC, it will download into a ref extracts file. And since this is a RISC file, you can open it up. And we can see that this is the risk file that we have seen from um, Google Scholar and so on. It's just super long because there are 45 references inside with abstracts. All I need to do is go to Zotoro, import it. Okay, you can put a risk file. Go to extract, go to the file. And what I want is to place it in a new collection. I do not want to mess up my original library first. So it will take a little bit more time to extract and import. And what do I see? 45 references for import. And you have a new collection here. You can change the collection name yourself. Rename it to pathogenesis. That's how you rename it, but it doesn't matter. All the references are in here. And we go to my library. 
all the references are here. These are all the added references of today. So this is how you can do it. And if there are more than one of you, or basically the whole team is using Zotoro, that makes your life a lot easier. Hopefully this helps you a lot and solves some problems. That's all for today. Thank you very much.